Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a granny square using the granny stitch. So if you do not know how to granny stitch, I highly recommend that you watch my granny stitch video first just so you have at least an idea before we get started. You will also need to know how to make a magic ring. Um, I also have a tutorial on that. And you will want to know how to chain um, and how to work in the round just because it'll make your life a little bit easier. If not though, if all you know is how to double crochet um, and how to make a magic ring, then you will be okay. Um, just follow along very carefully and watch um, very carefully. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to be using my Hobie yarn. It's cotton and it's about a worsted weight or a light worsted weight yarn. I will be using my H, um, 8 or 5 millimeter hook. Um, and it right now this, this um, square is only about maybe 4 inches by 4 inches. But really um, you can continue the process and make something even as big as a blanket with this stitch. Um, it's a great base. Um, especially if you've never done a granny square before, this is a great way to start. So um, go ahead and grab your yarn and your hook and let's get going. All right guys, so to begin your granny square, you're gonna want to create a magic ring and this is just a reminder of how to create it. So you're gonna throw, you're gonna put the yarn end in your hand. I hold it with my, uh, with my two fingers and then I wrap it around, make an X have two lines in the back and I hold it down, use my hook um, under, over, pull it through, twist it, slide it off. Um, like I said, if you want a more detailed uh, remind tutorial, I have one on my channel. Um, so you're going to start off with a magic ring and you're going to go ahead and chain four. Now the first two are going to count as a double crochet and the other two are actually going to be what you use for your corner. So we're going to chain four and then we're going to go ahead and double crochet one, two, three times into the ring. And you're going to want to watch the end of your yarn, I, feel, I find, when you're doing the granny square because you're doing so many things, it can tend to get a little loose, so just watch it. Um, you're then going to go ahead and chain two, and then you're going to double crochet three more into the ring, or magic circle, whatever you call it. I feel like everybody has a different, different way to... Um, word these things. So you have three. So oh, I'm going to pull mine a little bit tighter again and we're going to chain two again. So we have one corner, two corner. That'll be our third corner. And we're going to double crochet three more. One, two, and three. And then you're going to chain two more. That's our fourth corner. So this final section, I'm actually going to hold the yarn end over here so it's not in the way quite as much. I'm going to pull it a little bit tighter because I don't need quite as much space. You're only going to double crochet two because you have two chains that are going to count as your third double crochet. So I'm going to double crochet one and two. And then I can go ahead and start pulling my magic ring tighter. It doesn't have to be super tight yet. but um, And then you're going to actually slip stitch to your the second chain. Now I find the easiest way to actually find the second chain is to go right here to the fourth chain. Go one, two. Okay, that's my second chain. Um, especially for the first chain. I don't know why, but it just always seems way harder to find that chain two. So you can go ahead and tighten it up and you'll see you've got one, two, three, four. Now you slip stitch into the chain two. I then slip stitch into this corner. I find
find it makes a cleaner overall look by the end. So then you're gonna go ahead and chain four again. One, two, three, four. And now what you're going to do is you're gonna granny stitch into this chain space. So you're going to double crochet three. So we got one, two, three. And then you're going to skip this double crochet cluster. I mean, um, yes, the, the granny stitch cluster. And you're going to double crochet three into the next chain space. So I have one, two, three, and then one, two. Okay. And then you're going to once again, that was your corner, so you're going to double crochet three again to make your granny stitch. So one, two, three, and this is going to be how you increase your granny square, um, is that you are adding a granny stitch into each Granny stitch in this corner, granny stitch in this corner, chain two. So we've got our first corner, second corner, we're now onto our, we finished our third corner. Once we double crochet three, there's our third double crochet, so that's our third corner. So we'll double crochet three again into this chain space. One. And then we'll do our final chain two, double crochet three again into this chain space. One, two, three. Now for this final granny stitch, because we started off with the chain four, we're gonna actually just double crochet two into that chain space. So we've got one, and two and you'll see you can actually see this the chains better on this side one two so we're going to go ahead and insert our hook and slip stitch to that chain two sorry if you can hear my little boy he just is waking up from his nap so he's making some funny noises um so, and then you're going to slip stitch again into that first chain space before you make your chain four. So that's how you're going to actually create every row is you're going to chain four at the beginning and you're going to granny stitch into or double crochet three into each of the chain spaces. So for this next row, I would double crochet three here, double crochet three here, double crochet three here. And then at each corner, you're going to chain two. So I'll go ahead and do this row and you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So for this row, you're going to repeat three granny stitches and a chain two along every side until you get back here.
Okay, so once again, in this final chain space, you're only going to double crochet two, one, and two, and then you're going to slip stitch again to the chain, the second chain, and then you'll slip stitch again into that chain space. So this is really just what you do on repeat to create your granny square. So what you'll do again is you're going to go ahead and chain four. And you'll always start with that chain four. Um, and then you'll granny stitch once again into all of the chain spaces. Remembering to always chain two at each corner other than the first one. Um, and then at the last one, you're only going to double crochet twice, slip stitch into the chain two, slip stitch into the chain space. And this can be made as large as you would like it to be. Um, I have made like entire blankets just from continuously increasing um, the granny square until it was blanket size. Um, and you can totally do that. I've seen people, do, especially like baby blankets, it's a great way. Or you can keep your granny squares really small and then seam them together um, to make either a blanket or a tote or really you can make it, them into so many different things. Honestly, I need some coasters for this summer. So I think I'm going to kind of work up some different kinds of granny squares and I'm going to go ahead and make us some fun coasters for the summer. So. I would love to hear what you are going to make with your granny squares. And if you liked this content and you want to see more, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Thanks so much.